Okay, um, in this episode we're going to be talking about formatting your output to the screen. And I'm going to start with manipulating the decimal point and stuff like that for your double variables that deal with decimal points and stuff like that. So, um, what I deleted in, in the last video I had a bunch of code and I just deleted that, got rid of it, and I wrote all of this. And if you're going along with these videos, I suggest you write this too so that you can understand exactly what I'm talking about. I have here three lines of important code called cout.s or setf ios colon colon fixed, cout.setf ios colon colon show point, and cout.precision2. Now what this does is it manipulates the decimal point and the decimal portion of the output of a decimal variable, a double. And what set f stands for, I believe, is set font, I think. And what fixed means is that your iOS, you're fixing the decimal point. It's going to stay where it is. It's not going to move about like a floating point. Um, here you have show point. This obviously shows the decimal point. But it's already shown, so you can comment this out if you want, but I'm just going to keep it there, just to be safe. And then precision is really the only thing you can manipulate to make your decimal output different. What this means, precision, the precision function defines how many accurate zeros come after the decimal point of any double you print to the screen. So here I have the number 2 in the function. Oh, and by the way, I noticed looking back at my videos on YouTube that the font was kind of small, so I increased it a little. Hopefully you all can see that. I apologize for that. But anyways, uh, going back to programming, you can see here, I, I tested it down here, but um, uh, let's run it and just see how it goes. Enter my weight. Believe it or not, I weigh 109 pounds, exactly. And here it prints you input the number with two decimal uh, places. Now if we increase this, we can increase this to four or four and do the same thing. 109.0000 four zeros. If I just input 109 by itself, it will still give me the decimal. Okay. Um, we can even do 10. So, if I weigh 109, 10 zeros after 109, the decimal point. Now, what about what about rounding? So let's do two decimal points, and to prove, well, it does round, and I will show you. So I'm just gonna say 40.00, and then 9999999. Now, definitely, this is about this zero right here. If this all is 99999, this should be about 1 right here. And it does round it to 1. So rounding does occur. And if it's lower than 5, obviously, so like 3.141, 5, it's about pi. It won't, it should not round the 4 up to the 5, so it just stays 3.14. And the rest, what I did, I mean, I explained this, and the rest should be really self-explanatory to you. Double test is equal to 0, 0.00. C out and choose a weight, C in to test. Then you C out two, two blank lines, and then you input the, the value of the variable test, which is what the user input, and then another blank line, and then your return statement, which produces this. So that's pretty easy. Um, I want to show you now some maybe text editing you can do. So C out, let's just make this a little more official and a little more official program. How about, um, this is, you already know backslash N, that's new line. But what about black backslash T? That means tab. So if we tab twice, um, it should give us about eight spaces, eight, you know, space bar equivalent spaces. And then I could say weight tracker program backslash n backslash n. Uh, so let's see what that looks like. Oh, 
got my semicolon common programming mistake that's what you're saying commas so here you see we have a tab and then I can just input my weight and it will give me my weight um, that is really all I wanted to show you was the backslash T and the decimal point thing uh, when we go on to more accurate calculations later on, we will definitely be using this to show more decimal places. So stay tuned for more C++ Mac programming tutorials with Xcode.